city of Broken Arrow signed off on an expensive purchase for the police department. More than $52,000 for a brand new Tesla to be used for traffic enforcement. As News Tally's Tyler Butler shows us tonight, the department is betting that before too long, that pricey Tesla will cost them less than their standard police cars. Soon, Broken Arrow will be one of only a handful of cities with a Tesla in their fleet, a Model Y to be exact. It's fiscally conservative to do it. Officer Chris Walker says yes, the car does have a more than $50,000 price tag, well above what they normally pay for a patrol car, but they're looking not at the upfront cost, but down the road. The initial purchase price is a little bit more. It's quite a bit more. It's $52,000, but we're spending a lot less on maintenance and fuel for the vehicle because the fuel is, is electricity. Uh, so after about four years, it pays for itself. And four years, the department's fleet manager says, is a conservative guess. It won't run out of charge either with a range of 326 miles. Our officers drive about 100 miles on patrol a day, and this triples that. And no one will outrun them. The current fastest car in the fleet does zero to 60 in six seconds. The Tesla will do that in just three and a half seconds. The city of Broken Arrow tells me it's pure coincidence that they're buying a Tesla after the company was looking to possibly build a factory here and just months after one of the first service centers for Teslas in Oklahoma opened right in their backyard. It does make the experiment easier though. Before the BA location, Tesla owners had to get service out of state. For BAPD, it's a three mile drive. The rigorous test with police work could pave the way for more electric vehicles in BA's fleet. If it's a long term cost savings uh, measure, awesome. Especially one that will handle the duties that we put it through. We're not exactly easy on vehicles. The city says they're planning to consider electric car options to replace aging vehicles in the future, doing a cost benefit analysis for each. Tyler Butler, News Channel 8.